sunbathing over here today. Do you want breakfast? Let's get breakfast. Come on. Good morning. It is pretty early. Waiting on the dirtiest of herbs. Who's got a pretty short day because he's moving. <laughs> gonna wait on him to get us updated because I don't really know what else is going on. I just know we're going to go grab weed real quick. I'm here early. Great labels are Omar. Omar. Hey, what's this? Labels. Hey. Fucking heavy. I was like, what the fuck? So, oh shit. Tennis star in the motherfucking building. Damn. Middleton motherfucker. It looks cool though. Like, I thought it was temperature wise. I thought cool. it was a t shirt. Feel it. Not a t shirt at all. It says oh, t shirt shit. online. I was like, oh, it's going to be like a graphic tee. Nah, son. We out here in the game. It looks fucking like it's not going to be hot. It's going to be a cool day for Ted. Um, um, oh, medical marijuana, 1145 appointment tomorrow morning. $90 in your ID is all you need, and you'll be refreshed for the year. The uh, landlord. Landlord. What a stupid word. The landlord. The landlord. The homeowner. The lord of my... Landlord is definitely some Game of Thrones shit. Yeah. They should change the name of that. They should change it to property owner. Yeah. They're reappraised, so someone's gonna come out Monday or Tuesday to look at it. But it's funny, because I wanted to... I was gonna call in this morning about the garage. The garage door doesn't work all of a sudden. D dude, I pulled up in the car. I hit the button. I'm just saying, the only story I know. Here's the, here's the story from where I am. I get a phone call. I get a phone call as soon as you leave yesterday. Dude. I'm gonna go get some shit out of the garage. I'm like, no problem. Yeah, garage door opener. And then I get a call. Garage door opener's not working. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm like, I don't know, man. I, I, it should work. Then I go out there last night to work out. I hit the button to open the door. Nothing happens except the thing starts moving, but the door doesn't open. What the fuck? And then it started dawning on me. Was, oh. Ern is in here. I, I can fix it if it's moving with the door knob. That used to happen to my dad's. There's something with the pull and it allows it to pull again. You can put your money where your mouth is. Let's go. I didn't know. I couldn't even get it moving. I didn't even know where that button is on the wall. It's only using the remote. I can fix it. This happened a lot in my youth. This is what happened. Yup. Okay, so wait, stop. Okay, stop. Stop it right there. And this pin comes out. I see, gotta see this pin. Right here? Yeah. And that comes out. But it doesn't make it. I don't know what that no, means. No, it's not the pin, but it should be right where that thing is. On that black thing there, it should lock in. There it is, see? No. Wait, no, you something moved. Fixed it. No. Fixed it. I don't understand what happened. What happens is this oh, could have came got loose down. or pulled like down. Somebody stopped. That's the emergency stop. Yeah. So when that got pulled down, it made it disengage. That was what it was. And I got all happy that they picked up my trash yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday was Wednesday. They were supposed to. And they still didn't take the fucker. <laughs> Ah. Cycling might be every other week type shit. Come out here. Just gotta start your day out. Just gotta start your fucking day out. Instead of getting on Twitter and yelling at people about politics, you just fucking put the politics in the fucking air. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's how you do it. Pac-Man Jones, these motherfuckers. Yeah, you just fucking hit him in the airport. I love Pac-Man Jones. Me too. You got a fucking gangster ass motherfucker. Well, and I love that the world realized it wasn't his fault. That it's not like... Is that what Facebook's saying today? No, but even every news article is wording it as airport employee attacks Pac-Man Jones and gets his ass beat. Hurt his lady's oh, hand really? when she was trying to get in the middle of it. That's yeah. Girl should never try to get in the middle of fight. No, I know. Just let your man get hit. Let your man get in trouble. You're yeah. not gonna stop it. You're just gonna get knocked out in front of him. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Nice garage space. To ask me a question on Instagram. So fucking stupid. You always ask why we don't smoke shit in the. We do. It just goes into a jar and then it's the potpourri jar. It's yeah. The, pot, the potpourri yeah. jar. I don't know if it's indica or sativa by that time, so it's a little Russian roulette. Yeah. Damn, look at my shirt's got a rip in it. Oh shit. I didn't even do it. I didn't even notice it. Oh shit. Right out the box. Here's what I found. Damn, crazy. I didn't even know. Jesus. I didn't open it with a um, razor or anything either. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Uh, it was already open when it got here. Uh, the package was kind of ripped. You okay over there? Oh yeah, I just. Let me just finish it for you. You got started. Mm -hmm. Just lay down. No, no, Come no. On, teamwork makes dream work. You didn't learn that yesterday. Speaking of which, how's the moving going? Good. Must have sent her a picture. Your homegirl a long time ago that she never got to. All of a sudden, I get this from her, but I don't even know what it means. That's the girl from. That was to me. Oh. Out of my fucking phone. I'm, <laughs> You're just over here checking my DMs and shit. I'd like, <laughs> I literally pick it up. <laughs> so I'm scrolling through the thing and I go, oh, five new DMs and I hit it and I go, oh, that's nice of her. I go, man, I haven't sent her something in like four months. <laughs> that's amazing. 
a little box isn't going to make any different. If I did that right now, I was like, what's your favorite Ultra Boost model? I would not be able to see half the fucking responses to this guy. So what I'm saying is like, what is the point of this whole, like, what is the... I think the point is because it's not for people like you, it's for smaller AOL people. AOL chain letter! To AOL it's, chain letter rebirth! It's the company saying, what do, you know, what do we need? We need more engagement to show our advertisers. How do we gain engagement? Even clicking more than they already are. Add a box. Ask a question. That was always the basic thing with Facebook, like that you That's would. That's the basic thing with dating. Of course. As soon as you suddenly start talking to a girl, the best way to fucking get a girl interested is, ask is to ask questions. It's like the fucking way of like socializing. They made it such a lesson in these things, like when you would, like when I would do social media for company. Every damn social media guru will tell the company, you want to ask a lot of questions. You want to engage. You see, when I leave a comment on Facebook, I get way less engagement than when I ask my audience a question. The same shit that gets you mad. Makes me so furious. I yeah. know. The same shit that gets you mad when Hey guys, is this a cop or a drop? Hey yeah. guys, you think this one's real or fake? Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey, chime in down below. Hey, sound off below. The Moon Meat Mills Because coming. it really is to them. It's because it's like, okay, so if I get two extra people to sound off and one of their friends sees it, they sound off now, they follow my page, and they, and of course, like, all this engagement means nothing if there's nothing real behind it, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, yeah, that's what they think. And the same as that little meter. They put in the meter, you know? The little heart meter. How much do you love this picture? I don't even see what that is. Oh, yeah, dude, you do a meter. Another running a red light ticket I'm hiding from Brandy with my picture <laughs> on the front of it. Fuck them, I'm not paying it. I've been told you don't have to anymore. Yep. Thank you, Internet. <laughs> Thanks, so, Internet. Wait, are you using this? No. Okay, go I need to. Wait, I'm a, how bad? Give me... I'm on like zero. Oh, God. This is why I get lost in the beginning, because it doesn't come up in there and I miss it. Hold on. You can use it. I just got to stay focused. <laughs> I mean, I have a, an idea where this place is. <laughs> Listen, we're on a tight schedule. We are. I, I have so much to move ahead of me. I'm glad you're coming to help me get this mattress, because... Is that what we're doing? <laughs> tricked me. That was my plan. I didn't know what you were going to say. Kids in the live stream were like, that's how I knew about TaskRabbit. Kids are like, Teddy's just going to call TaskRabbit and have somebody else wow. help you. <laughs> Brandy's like, this is what you're relying on to move the bed? Trolling Teddy and doing it? Teddy's not going to fucking do it. We're not going to move the bed today. And I I'm mean, like, come help move the bed if you I really know. need me to. What the fuck? I think Am I, I like the worst no, fucking guy in no, the world? That's why I know you will, but I think it's fun. Yeah, right? I wouldn't choose to. I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, let's do this. I definitely would be like, actually, man, let me just pay to have someone move it for you. You know, yeah, that's totally my style. Brandy can film it. We'll get the mattress down the hall. It'll be great. Yeah. That's it. That's all I need. Then the rest is easy. The couch I carry with Brandy, the rest of that shit is fucking cake. I've carried all morning. I've been up since five. Just, it's, it's just horrible. I, I don't even really need help because we have three days. It's, the thing is, there's no quick way because if you bring it down the stairs into a car and then up that parking lot and down the thing, it's longer than actually just walking across the street with the shit. Like a weirdo, I just walk across the street back and forth, like with boxes and lamps and fucking crazy shit. Come through this motherfucker with a mattress. So I'm supposed to be like, is that Booska with a goddamn mattress? Uh, oh yeah, look dude, look look what's happened to his life. He's carrying mattress, he's got a ripped palish. <laughs> oh. I knew he wasn't shit. Alright, hi, great. I forgot to even put it in the GPS. Well, there's crazy traffic somewhere. I just saw it. I don't know where Who cares? it is. Let's go. You're you're causing traffic by reading your map while there's green lights and you're going okay. at literally seven miles an hour. I got this. The cherry diesel is fucking you didn't even smoke here. I always find it funny that when you're driving, you reflect on how strong the weed is we just smoked. <laughs> like, man. <laughs> I didn't even know I was driving for like half an hour. It's like, clip over to your little CNN fucking weed thing. I don't know why anybody wouldn't smoke weed. There's times where I've lost entire afternoons. <laughs> I blink real slow, and all of a sudden it's dinner time. Dad, where's the sun go at night? But right, as once I move that bed mattress, then Brandy's happy. It's all it takes. Isn't your mattress huge? Yeah, it's. Good. You're not gonna be able to move it with just two people by walking it across the street, Ern. It's too big. It's gonna drag on the ground. Yeah. You're not thinking this through. I know you think you're being funny and shit, but be able to move that thing without it getting like fucked up. And then you're really gonna deal with an angry woman when you fuck up your bed. Well, the thing is, do you want me to call somebody? 
No, no, no. I'll call no, someone no. and pay for the movie. No, 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 no. We're going to figure this out. I don't want to figure it out. I have shit. I'll help you move no, it. I know you will. I'm just saying. Like, I, I could also get. I want to get there and then figure it out and then be like yelling at each other. And like, there needs to be a plan of action just like anything else. If you're saying, hey, I want to fucking build some shelves, I'd be like, oh, what's the plan? Well, we'll figure it out when you get here. No, we're not figuring it out. We're not going to look at the bed, get in the room, like put our hands on our hips and look at it and figure, like, oh, all right, we got it. It needs to be wrapped in plastic or something. Yes, and then that, move. that, that, yeah, plastic part, oh, I agree God. with you. You agree with that part? Because, yeah. Um, and then I saw what your movers did. They took tape and they put tape handles around the corners so you could lift. If we lift. Do you realize we're getting passed on a fucking, on a fucking on-ramp onto a highway on the right? I mean, because you are going so slow. We are going 20 miles an hour. Because I haven't. We eaten. have stuff to do. But You're the one in the text today being like, I can't really do shit for long. You damn, let's go. I have an intricate plan. I can't go with the speed limit and think this through Jesus all at once. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, feel like I'm riding a bicycle to Denver right now. <laughs> hey, Teddy, why don't you drive? I would have fucking driven. I will drive. I have no problem driving. I, mean, I don't even know where we're going. God no fucking damn. There, 12 minutes. <laughs> fucking, I'm like, is this weed that good? Is everything moving so slow? Or I'm dying here. Your fucking Waze app is going to get deleted because they find out you're the root of all the evil on the highway. They're like, oh, you can't be a part of Waze. <laughs> you're out of here. Repeat offender is in traffic. Be careful. Uh, there is a repeat offender within 100 square feet of your vehicle. 100 square feet. Got it. Ooh, what's up, CRV? Yeah, both these guys. It's because he's gotten more fucking driving Miss Daisy's over here not doing oh, shit with their life. Well, me. God. That guy. You know, it seems worse because you're not looking. I fucking hate cars. I can't wait till we're all flying around in the fucking sky. <laughs> Self propelled fucking safety pods. Please. Leave your safety pod where you landed. It will reappear when you come out of the establishment. And they will laugh. Like we used to ride around in these fucking metal hunks of shit. Died all the time. Oh, look, here's a piece of metal. I'm gonna carve it into a shape and paint it. What's well, gonna cost you $60,000? Forward, backwards, not left or right, just forward and backwards. Like, what the fuck? I gotta turn the wheel to go left and right. Can't the tires just fucking yeah. pull up right here and they go, whoo! <laughs> so I'm waiting on dog. Me you want too. me to buy a new car? Step it up. Yeah. I need some. I'm gonna get a 360 degree tire. Like, a ball. like ball. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Why are we fucking around with these stupid wheels? Yeah. You can reinvent the wheel. It's called a ball. <laughs> Wake up, people. Here. The uh, the bed situation. Oh. I might drop you off and then get back to you. Okay. Let me know. Me and you to carry a California king size fucking mattress across the street on our back. That's what your plan so far has been. Nice. Go. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, dude. The shoe room is actually kind of put together. I mean, there's still stuff everywhere. I got boxes and stuff that I got to kind of still organize, but we got shoes. Some people have gotten it twisted and think I don't have shoes anymore or something. Everything's not so organized. There's still like random stuff that I haven't finished in the house. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the day too. I'm going to try and... I'm going to have to move one of these computers, I think, to somewhere else. I think that's the real thing. So I got to figure that out. And I got to get this room cleaned back up and resituated for this podcast because we are going to do a podcast this week. I know that the week is almost over, but we're going to make it happen. I got shit to do while organizing. Also, I got a refund for my palace shirt. Shout out to Bigfoot. But yeah, so I got this palace windbreaker like months ago, whoa, months ago, old house for sure. If you know when it came out, then you know it came out a while ago. But one update that I haven't given in a while, so diet update or like what I eat update, everything's been pretty chill. Like I said last week, I ate a pizza and it made me feel like shit, so I haven't done that since. The only other change has been is I started drinking these sometimes. Zevias, which is not real soda, it's just carbonated water, citric acid stevia leaf extract and caffeine so it's just water tea roar stevia there's a reason for this jacket i need to start talking about my jacket it still has a tag on it i threw this on because when i got it it didn't fit so people are always asking me like oh how much weight have you lost i can't focus when i was into like bodybuilding and shit if i focused on numbers and like dialing shit in and I'd always obsess over the micro details of everything and weighing myself every day or once a week and if it wasn't exactly what i wanted it to be or if i didn't lose what i thought i should have lost 
lost. It would fuck with my mental. It would fuck with my progress. It would fuck with everything. So I don't do that. So what I have found to work, clothing, how it fits, how it feels, how I feel, my energy level, shit like that. That's how I gauge whether or not I'm making progress. And this did not fit at all. When I got it, I couldn't zip it at all. You know, it would just like, it wouldn't even reach. So now this definitely fits. It's an extra large palace. Shit runs small to me. So um, yeah, but it fits now. Not baggy, but it fits. I mean, if I start feeling like sluggish or if I feel like I'm not making any progress or my clothes start fitting tighter, you know, I'll rev up something or I'll really dial in my diet like to the exact, but I don't think a scale is necessarily needed. Again, numbers, you know, they never end, never stops. Not the person that's ever really satisfied with measurements. So I don't measure. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah, that's an update on that. Also, some other stuff that came in just now is the Gosha shit. The last Gosha stuff I really like. All of the soccer, football stuff is my favorite from this year. I think Adidas has made... Not, whoa! Everybody's gonna be talking to me about the Bape shit. Everyone already is. The Bape Ultra Boost now that's been leaked, rumored. I'm sure it's happening. People are asking me what I think. I don't care. I don't like Bape. I've never liked Bape. I don't think there's really any point. You know, Adidas just... You know, them just releasing this again just seems kind of like a hype grab to me. I don't know. Why not? Why don't they just release them at the same time, really, is, I guess, my argument if they were going to do that. Could have done that last year. But anyway, it doesn't matter to me. But I do think that the football stuff, a lot of the more, I don't know what to call them, higher-end collabs, but, you know, like, I really like a lot of the Wang clothing. I like Gosha stuff so far. A lot of the stuff they're doing with, like, the football culture is my favorite this year. I really like that return to that classic feel. The black pant. So oh, nice. It says like that air mesh on the inside. These are nice. These are nice. 3M? It's, it's basically an Adidas pant. A nice material. It's got some Gosha branding on it. And then you got Adidas branding. But I got the pant and jacket set and I got it in two different. I got one set in black. You got it on the back too. The windbreaker. It looks like it's a little short. Oh, crazy. It's short, but it's like the hang on it is crazy. So this is an extra large. It's kind of fire though. The hang is so crazy. It's like, you can see it. Like the, it's blousey. Yeah, it just like has that different cut to it. Like you barred your dad's jacket. I don't know fuck with it. You gotta hit him with the, what's up Omar? What you think? What you think? And this one should be white. And the green. So I didn't get a whole white set and a whole green set. I feel like I mix match this set. Can I open this fucking box though? Oh, that green is a nice color. If the other shit goes on sale, I'll get the whole color. I'm not buying all this shit full price and then watch it go on sale. Damn. Damn. Nice. Gosha. Thanks to my friend Gosha Robinski. Appreciate you, dog. Shit, son. I'm here. Good nice. They're baggy. Nice. Jamming. So Gosha, it's baggy. It's a little loose, but it's cut in a way that it doesn't feel weird. It's very Euro. I feel super Euro. Oh, new profile pic. That's really the day. I gotta get this shit. I gotta go. I'll see y'all motherfuckers. Later. My 500s got delivered, but they got delivered to the shop. I gotta go get them with my prints. We still working. All right, see y'all later. Peace. Oh, friends and family. If you're signing up for that list, closes on the 15th. I don't know if I said that in the vlog. Planning on signing up, closes on the 15th. Next month, it's only gonna be up for like a week top. It's too much to keep up with. Most of you are gonna be recurring. You know, it won't be. All right, I'm out. Peace. Up on lip gloss, look at how I Rick Ross, spinning out that hip cross, she get down, wanna hit y'all, fuck what's with the unknown.